here. And the song that we, we ended with is called EA, is a cleansing chant. And the, the following song is a welcome song. Both songs were composed by Shu Ayin, Peter McKay, and they originate from the Kilowell tribe in the house of the Sanchpil. The next song I'd like to share is the peace song. And the song was originally sung in seven different languages from across the northwest coast. And the version I see here today is sung in Haida. We are from the Nisbat Nation, and you'll see we have four different tribes. Oh, it's all right. Ego, this is the piece of This is not so sure where she is. This is a
No, because you did it in 2011. It's definitely don't account. The rate of people who are challenging the other to be trying to evaluate like them. To evaluate and then we apply. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You have to do two events to be able to apply heritage. Okay, okay. So that's the point. So after this one, this kind of Okay, good.
Sir, if I may ask you to share a small portion of this part of the We hope you've enjoyed The song we'll leave the floor with is called Clack, Silla Clack. The song composed by Watlin Simogit, Hype Mass, the late Charles Swanson, and his brother Simogit Hype Mass, Chester Moore. This is Limpy Anu, Clack, Silla Clack. started this and uh, uh, he's, he continues to support uh, this, this type of initiative. I also want to recognize um, our councillor uh, from the city, uh, Adrian Cars, who is here as well, and our uh, Park Board Commissioner Trevor Lowe, who has joined us as well. Maybe both of you can just stand up and uh, be recognized. This is a, a very important event to the City of Vancouver, and that's why, uh, out of the three levels of government, uh, we provide uh, the funding to, to help make this happen. Of course, this could happen with uh, the many volunteers that have come forward and uh, the passion of John, amongst others, to uh, ensure that we have this type of uh, ongoing initiative for the City of Vancouver. When I uh, chatted with Jean just, uh, just briefly earlier, he had uh, previously sent me a number of questions on what message did I want uh, him to me to send all of you? And I think the, uh, there's a number of questions that he asked me that I tried to address in my speech today, but I want to tell you a little bit about the importance of this initiative from, uh, from both my perspective and from a city perspective. The, the reason why the city of Vancouver maintains its position as one of the best cities to live in the world is because of our interconnectedness between the many people that we have here. And that one of the best ways to make that happen is result of the different languages that we experience, different cultures that we have right here in our city, and the fact that uh, it is multi-generational. And so 
between all those efforts of uh, whether it be through our coming. library, that's, uh, I'm glad to see here represented, whether it be through our park board, our school boards, and, and city council, our efforts have more so than ever been coordinated to ensure that this opportunity of interconnectedness and the sharing of our cultures and languages continues, and in fact, it's strengthened. From, from my personal perspective, uh, I know that uh, as a result of having children uh, and them struggling a bit with some of our her heritage language, which is uh, Cantonese, which um, uh, used to be the dominant Chinese language here, and uh, even within the uh, uh, community here in, in Vancouver, it's now transitioning to our Mandarin speaking, the predominant Mandarin speaking uh, uh, equation. And it's important that my children and